Hello peeps, welcome back to another podcast exploration video. Today I am in Hayden, Arizona. That's right, Hayden, Arizona is an old mining town. It still is. The mine does not operate at does not operate at 100% capacity, but is still running. Uh, so I'm going to take a drive around the town. There's tons of buildings I want you all to to uh, to see. And these buildings are burnt down to the ground. They're boarded up. And obviously, at one time, this place was uh, beautiful, right? And I want you to keep an eye on, keep an eye to the right and the left as we go through some of these buildings in this town where once there were, I'm sure, businesses and restaurants are now uh, destroyed and boarded up. The reason why was because there was a bunch of people that were up to no good. And I was told that they would, uh, they would break into these buildings and have parties and do all kinds of different stuff and uh, during the winter, they would get cold. They'll start a fire in there to keep warm, and they would catch the buildings on fire. And uh, this is what happens when an old town, an old mining town like this, um, when the mine does not operate at 100%, right, and the people from the town suffer. So in the late 1800s, when the West was still wild, prospectors ventured into this land what they found beneath the surface was a treasure tro trove of minerals, including copper, silver, and gold. These precious metals drew settlers like a magnet leading to the birth of mining town that will become known as Hayden. And as I am driving up to this building, you're going to witness, uh, look at this building right here. It's just, you can tell that it was caught on fire and uh, there's nothing left of this building. I tried to go into those buildings, but I was not allowed to. Uh, due to the asbestos and uh, obviously you can fall you don't know what's in there uh, you don't know who's in there i mean look at this one to your left here i mean just gone right and you can just walk into these places i mean some of them are boarded up but uh, obviously the people that are squatting is what they call right those people that go into those buildings to sleep or do whatever do drugs they uh, find a way to go into those buildings and there's really not much you can do i mean you can just walk right in them so Hayden's heartbeat was its mining operations. Here deep within the earth, miners toiled in unforgiving conditions, extracting minerals that, were, that would fuel not just the town's economy, but also the American industrial complex. During its heyday, Hayden thrived as an economic powerhouse. The mines were in full swing and the town was alive with activity. But in every tale of uh, mining town, there is a chapter of the boom and the Inevitable bust, right? The fluctuating demand for minerals, the challenges of mining at such depths, and the changing industrial landscape all took their toll. As the years went by, the glimmer of prosperity began to fade. The mines that once roared with activity started to fall silent. And Hayden, like many mining towns, faced a time of reckoning. But uh, what sets Hayden apart is the spirit of its community. Life here was tough. But it was a place where people watched out for one another. The challenges of mining life built a close-knit town where resilience and solidarity were the founders uh, were the foundations of survival. Today, Hayden has transformed the ghost of mining. The ghost of mining's past remain in the form of old structures and artifacts and the memories of its residents. While the mines may have closed, and not not all the way, right? Like I said earlier. Uh, the town's spirit still endures, right? Hayden, Arizona is more than just a place on the map. It's a living testament to the perseverance of resilience of those who call it home. And as you explore its history, you'll find that the story of Hayden is a story of the American West itself, a tale of exploration, determination, and the enduring human spirit, right? And if you've been paying close attention to the video, uh, you can tell, you know, you can see all these buildings that, are just destroyed and right here this that you're looking at is all part of the mine this is all part of the mine right this is a mining town and i'm going to loop back into the town i'm going to jump back in i'm going to jump back on the highway and i'm going to take you back so you can see a few more structures a few more homes uh that ones i'm sure that ones that were really nice at one at one point and i'm going to uh take a right right here and I'm going to go back into the town itself. This is a very small town. There's still a lot of people that live here. Uh, some of them obviously work 
in different towns because uh, even though the mine is closed, quote unquote closed, but it's still operating, right? There's still sections of it that operate. So it cannot, um, it doesn't employ a bunch of people, right? Like it used to. So some of these people that live here, either maybe they're retired or they work in a different town uh, here in Arizona. This uh, Hayden, Arizona is between Superior, Arizona and Winkleman, Arizona. And it's about two hours away from Phoenix, Arizona. This is out in the middle of the desert, right? By the mountains. And uh, I'm going to take you to, I'm going to take you into another loop right here so you can see the structures. Um, the locals also told me to stay out of the town at night. It is very dangerous. There's a lot of dangerous people, I guess. Uh, so I'm definitely not going to be doing that. But I, I wanted to go into some of these homes, but... I was told not to. I mean, as you see here, look at these. I mean, all these homes are just turning into ruins uh, that, you know, they're just being caught on fire and they're just falling apart. So these nobody can put any money into this town. Uh, it's I'm sure it's very expensive to repair and fix all these buildings, right? But right here on the right, you're going to see another building and it's just gone, right? So, yeah, you can walk in there, but I'm sure the locals, if they see you going in there in videotaping or whatever recording i'm sure that would call the cops and you would get busted for trespassing right and like i said you don't know who's in these buildings so you have to be very very careful uh when you're going in there and we are we loop right back to where we started and you see here look at this building right here just boarded up um there's some signs on some of the buildings to not go in there and it's very dangerous uh, look at this one right here on the left just I mean, they're boarded up, right? But, you know, the the people that go in there and, and sleep in there or do whatever they do, they obviously uh, take the boards down and, and go in there and, and do crazy stuff, right? Who knows what they do here? I've never been here at night. Uh, like I said, I was told not to drive around here or walk around here at night, but maybe one day I can get close to one and send the drone out inside this building so we can check them out, right? and see what's in them but it is a little bit scary and right here on the right you see the stack right you see the the smelter the mine and uh, it's i mean it's i'm sure at one point it was a really really cool town right and i mean these little houses are beautiful right this i mean if you can picture going back into the day right going back going back and and just imagine all these houses how they looked right when they were new when they were getting built i'm sure when it was full of people when the mine was booming I'm sure it was a beautiful town to live in, right? But now it's this, and uh, this is what happens, right? Eventually, the town becomes a ghost town, and everything dries up, and people start moving, right? And like I said, whoever's left here is the people that are have always been here or they're retired, and they cannot afford to move anywhere else, and then this is where uh, they continue to live. There's plenty of houses. As you can see, they're all up on top of the mountain or, or the hills, and, uh, you know, it's... It's an interesting town. I, I suggest you look it up and, and search the history of this, uh, this town of Hayden, Arizona. So uh, hopefully you love this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also check me out. Uh, my podcast is on Spotify and um, most major platforms, Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. It's a society and culture podcast. And make sure you sign up. Stay tuned. Until next time. Peace.